Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everyone, this is Matt Ryan, aka The Frugal Geek, and today we're going to install Ubuntu on OS X using Parallels. Now, Parallels, uh, as I've described before in previous videos, is a virtual machine software that allows you to create virtual computers uh, as part of your own, so that you don't have to leave OS X to enjoy programs that exist seemingly only on the Windows platform, on Linux, on on various other platforms. Chromium OS can even be installed. I'm going to go over that in a future video as well. But here we're trying to install Ubuntu. It's a very, very simple process, uh, very easy uh, and very quick. All right, looking here, basically we already have downloaded the ISO, which is an image file of Ubuntu. We get that from Ubuntu uh, from their main website, a great location for that. Here, we're basically letting the system know whenever you install Ubuntu, I want this username and this password to be the password to access that virtual machine. It is important the password has to be eight characters or longer. Otherwise, Parallels will kick back and tell you you are not secure enough. You noob. All right, here we are naming the machine and basically uh, showing people where we would like to have it, or showing Parallels rather, where we would like to have it installed. Here I'm keeping it at Ubuntu Linux to keep things simple. All right, process goes through and it loads up this screen where you can click to start or you can decide to have a, uh, a custom installation. And this is where you can tell it how many CPUs do you want it to recognize? How much memory do you want the virtual machine to utilize? Now be careful here. If you have eight gigs of RAM in your system and you crank that up to seven or eight, your OS X installation will only have one or two gigs of RAM uh, to it while Parallels is running. So be careful with this setting. Don't overdo it. All right, Startup and Shutdown lets you know, hey, whenever I start up the computer, I would love to have uh, the Ubuntu installation go in. Optimization, do you want a faster virtual machine or do you want a faster OS X installation? Where do you want your processing power to go? Security, uh, just basic security. Uh, stuff there. Full screen is very interesting. Like Expose, you can go into the upper left corner or wherever you designate it and go from full screen to windowed mode with a click rather than having to do a complex key combination. Really cool. Applications, uh, not available for this particular operating system, but with Windows, uh, works quite well. All right, here you can uh, s basically select what kind of hardware you want it to recognize. The CD drive, do you want that to point to an ISO? Do you want that to point to a virtual drive? Do you want it to point to your physical drive? Whenever you pop a CD in, do you want it to be able to read it? That is what this window is for. Hard disk, pretty much the same way. I would love it to have this hard disk here, or I would love to point its, uh, its drive here. You know, where, what do you want it to perceive as the hard disk? Same with network. Network, basically, do you have a shared network? Do you have a, a private? Is this a server? What is it? Sound, very basic. What Sound card, do you want this virtual machine to use? Do you want it to use the one OS X is using? Set it at default. If you want it to use a USB headset, for example, set it to that. It's a very, very smart system. It'll work around your needs. USB controller, not an issue here. We'll talk about that in another video. All right, Ubuntu Linux is ready to go. The window's done, and we hit start. And after hitting start, it begins the installation process. It does a BIOS uh, pull basically just like you're booting up a machine all on its own it's just within a window and it's within OS 10 again here it'll start loading the in the installer program and get you ready to go now one thing to remember Ubuntu is free if anyone charges you for a copy of Ubuntu tell them they are morons and go the other way Ubuntu is free get it from the official channel BitTorrent is great but you really don't want to have to deal with the hassle of potentially having a corrupted file all right once you're into Ubuntu everything else is just as if you're installing it on a PC your keyboard layout your time zone everything that you would have to fill out just as if you were installing using a regular CD on a brand new hard drive you can do here and enjoy your virtual machine from here on out. This has been Rat Ryan, aka the Frugal Geek, and I'm out.